Here at ISS 2023, kicking off the year and the trade show season for our industry. You know, this is one of the bigger events for a print community and everyone's here. We want to take our printing tips from Printing Pro's concept with a slight twist. It's Devon here with All Mega Print Supply and today we're going to be getting the inside scoop on direct-to-film. So stick around as we get the real questions from the real professionals on DTF. All right, we're here at the SCS booth, Long Beach Convention Center 2023 ISS Impressions Expo. We got one of the experts in direct -to film field, Brandon with SCS. Want to ask you a quick question for our audience in regards to outsourcing versus manufacturing your own. What do you think should be a deciding factor? When would someone know to invest in their own equipment versus outsourcing their direct -to film transfer printing? Yeah, so it really comes down to volume, cost, and printing, uh, the timing. So basically, um, Depending on your volume, if you're doing a low volume every day, um, it's possible that you don't need an in-house uh, DTF printer. Um, but then uh, if your volume increases, if you're doing over, say, 15, 20 transfers a day, you really might want to invest in a um, DTF printer in-house, um, especially because the cost is so much lower. If you outsource and you bring in film from other places, you could be spending you know, six, seven, eight, ten times more per square foot than you would to actually print it in-house yourself. Also timing. So you really have the timing to wait to actually wait for these transfers to come in-house. You have customers that come in the shop every day. You want to uh, service them as soon as possible. And to have a, uh, a larger set up like this that could do 118 square feet an hour or you could do a smaller setup over here that we have that you could do about 30 square feet an hour you want to be able to service these people and customers as soon as possible there we go sounds like a time volume and a cost factor am i right there we go. Hey, Brandon, thank you so much for your time. If you guys are here at Long Beach next time or any of the trade shows this year, make sure you stop by the STS booths, some of the best director film printers on the market. Thank you so much for your time. All right, we're here at the Epson booth, the Long Beach Convention Center, ISS 2023. Kind of a near and dear to our heart. Not only the best director garment printers on the market, but really how a lot of us here at All American learned direct film printing in the early days. We're joined by Tim. Thank you so much for uh, taking some time out of your day. How's the show been so far? So far, so good, man. We're having a great time. Love seeing all the uh, excitement that everybody's had bringing over, coming into the show, and actually in person for again. Exactly. Um, people are thrilled to be here, and it looks like a lot of people are like, man, I made it through the busy season this past year. I'm looking for something to help me through without the headaches. So. Fantastic. What could you share with our audience as far as how you feel direct-to-film printing has impacted our industry? Well, I'll tell you what, you know, at first when it started coming out, we saw a lot of different things were in there with everybody using the DTF. We're like, what in the world is this stuff? Um, it was a little bit of a wild west and, and quality, consistency, safety, big concerns. But what we've seen over the past years, we've really started to embrace that and actually we're highlighting in our booth is uh, we were calling hybrid DTG, DT film printing uh, with our print system. So what, what it, honestly the simplest spot is, man, this is great. The DTG gives you the best hand feel on cotton shirt, fashion tees. You can't even almost feel the ink. It breathes in the summertime. Hey, we're at the beach, even though it's in the wintertime. Um, it breathes, it feels good. We're gonna start doing things like hats, structured hats. It's pretty hard to put into one of the printers. And so we realize this, Adding, having a printer that does both DTG and DT film, the DT films open up versatility to work on sports apparel, synthetics, unusual shaped items, things like neck labels, or even uh, a lot of chest logos. It's pretty flexible with what you can do with it. So we, we really realize, man, it's, it's, not, it's not a revolutionary, like replacing technology, but it certainly makes it where a, a garment decorator can do so much more, uh, and especially having a machine that can do both. It gives them the best of both worlds. So you can definitely with DT film, and we love it because we can do things that we weren't able to do before onto materials like backpacks and hats and shoes so much easier and so much more efficiently. So I think it's going to be here to stay. Uh, we're looking forward to it. In Epson, we're, we're like it. We're certainly uh, supporting it with our hybrid print systems as well. All right, here we are at the Vastex booth. They offer some of the most efficient equipment as far as drying and curing your finished powdered and printed direct to film transfers. Want to stop by asking a quick question for our audience if you got a moment. Glad to help. Okay, now in your opinion, why do you feel direct to film is a great starting point for, say, a beginner? 
direct to film the nice thing about it is you don't need a lot of space, you don't need a lot of money to get started. It's, it's great because you can put it in a one bedroom apartment, you can put it in the corner of your, your basement and really get started printing 12 shirts, 24 shirts at a time. I know before Cam we were talking that there's also a lot of material flexibility as well, right? Oh yeah, it's cotton, polyester, hoodies, hats. You can print on just about anything with it, so there's really no limitations. So it's always easier when you can say yes to a customer and saying, eh, I can't really do that for you. Exactly. And I would say also you can really scale with this and oh, move yeah. up to those bigger numbers, right? Oh yeah, definitely. When you, when you start with a customer and they want 12, 24 shirts at a time, then they come back, they want 500, 1,000 shirts at a time. Really, you can grow your business from a very small, small printer and, and make it huge. Guys, the limit. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Very well said. You guys having a good show so far? Great show so far. There we go. Thank you so much for taking time sharing this with our audience. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Enjoy the rest All of the show. Right. Thank you very much. Appreciate you too. it. Thank you. Had to stop by the beautiful, humongous Bella Canvas booth. You guys always do it big. We yeah. got Wes here from BC. How's the show been so far? Hey, the show's been great. Everyone's excited to be here. The show's like full capacity this year, so it's really exciting. Yeah. Fantastic. We got to pull you away from the inside. We got a party going on in there. A DJ of the works. Want to see if we can <laughs> steal you for a bit, answer a quick question about direct to film for our audience. Yeah, absolutely. What you got? All right. So, in your opinion, Wes, why do you think direct to film has gotten so popular over the last few years? Yeah, I think one big reason is just uh, it's a great entryway into the decorating world and then also um, you know it's like a, a low quantity minimum like no minimum type situation so you're not having to deal with like loads of like I got all these prints maybe they'll sell maybe they'll do well you're working with individual one-offs so it's a really great uh, entryway for a lot of people I agree and it applies to pretty much everything Bella Canvas carries right oh yeah absolutely it's great for so many different types of fabrications whether you're dealing with uh, blends or 100% cottons um, so any product you find here is great for DTF, yeah. Absolutely, you heard it from the man. Thank you so much for your yeah, time, absolutely. appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the show, yeah, you guys you keep too. killing it, all right? Hey, thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by Meryl from makeatea.com, all the way from Florida. Yeah. Made it out to sunny California for ISS 2023. You having a good time? I'm having a great time, and the weather's great, and it's a little bit cooler than Florida, so it feels really good. I'm loving it here. Fantastic. Real quick, Meryl, what would you say was the deciding factor for you to dive into DTF printing? The deciding factor was that with DTF you can print on anything. It doesn't. You're not limited to cotton. You can print on blends. You can print on polyesters. You can print on dark polyesters. You can print on sublimation. You can print on notebooks. You can print on tote bags. You can print on tablecloths. You can print on vinyl and. You can print on this too. And you can do overlays. You can put vinyl over your DTF print and it comes up. This looks really hot, doesn't it? That looks, that, that looks yeah, amazing. Thank you. Is that thank some mixed media on here? This is all mixed, DTF? Mixed media, all DTF. Well, this is, this is flock. Awesome. Yeah. No, yeah. this came out great. It very, out very great. nice. You get detail, you get half tones, and it washes great, it stretches, it doesn't come off, customers love it, it's bright, it's vibrant, and I'm so happy that we are in DTF. Oh, we're so happy you so took the happy. time to share all this with our wonderful audience. Thank you so much, Meryl. You're welcome. You guys you're enjoy welcome. the rest so of the show. Good seeing you. Have Always. A great show. Hey, likewise. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Everyone seems to have an opinion on direct to film, and really everywhere you look, you can see DTF. As one of the leaders in this field, you can always count on All American Print Supply to deliver cutting edge methods, techniques, equipment, and supplies. If you do have any other direct to film questions we didn't get to in this video, go ahead and drop them in the comments section below. And if you haven't done already, hit that thumbs up button for us. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today. We're signing off from ISS 2023 Long Beach Convention Center. We'll see you on the next one.